Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. Today, I want to answer another reader email. And this one was, how do I stay motivated to do what I do? Like, well, how can my readers stay motivated to do what you do? So basically, it's a question like, how do I stay motivated? All right, there you go, how to stay motivated. And I have a couple of tips on, on that, basically two tips on the mind. The first, to stay motivated is to uh, do something that you actually enjoy doing. So it's, it's a little easy to stay motivated when you actually like what you're doing. If you don't like what you're doing, let's just face it, it's, it's pretty hard to stay motivated. Fortunately for me, I, I love what I'm doing. I love what I do and I would do it all the time. So it's, it's not hard for me to find motivation. So if you're blogging and you have a blog, I re- this is why I recommend that you should blog about something that you're actually interested in and have a passion for. Because if you don't, odds are you're not gonna stick around long enough to see it through. This blogging isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. You know, you have to go at it for quite a while in you know, order to build up a readership. And it, it, like first eight months of my blog's life, I made zero, absolutely nothing. But I like blogging. I like my topic. I like the stuff I wrote about. And I stuck with it, even though my blog was making zero, I, I just kept doing it. So you, you got to do the same thing. So look at what, what are you interested in? What topic are you interested in? What topic can you do, can you blog about that might pay you nothing, but you just like it? So that's the first tip of staying motivated. Do something that you actually enjoy doing. The second tip is to set a goal for yourself. Like have a goal on what you want to accomplish. And I, I did a video on, on proper goal setting. You may want to check back on my YouTube channel to see the video on how I do proper goal setting. But in essence, what it, well, how it is is to, uh, you set an end goal, like how much you want to make, like say $100,000 in this year or next year or next 12 months. So say you want to make 100,000 bucks in the next 12 months. Then the next step is to break it down. How much is that per month? How much is that per week? How much is that per day? And once you break it down, like how much is that per day, you gotta look at, okay, uh, how much traffic do I need to make that much money per day? And then you look at, well, you analyze like the different ways you can monetize your site. And you look at, well, what do I need to do? How much traffic do I need to do to make that much money? And then, and then how do I, what do I need to do to, write, to get that much traffic? And you work that way. And then uh, by breaking down the small little chunks, it becomes something doable and actionable. Like, if you were just to say, I wanna make 100,000 bucks, okay, where do I start? Well, when you chunk it down, you realize that, okay, in order to make that much, I need to do one blog post a day, I need to put out one YouTube video a day, then I need to share that video on Facebook, I need to, I need to buy this much traffic, that kind of stuff. So that's uh, another tip for staying motivated. You gotta need to have a goal. And the third, my third tip is, you need to reward yourself along the way. See, I like to... Hmm, cool car. Come on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> you need to reward yourself along the way. See, don't, re- don't give yourself like a big reward at the end. Basically, uh, as each task or each mini goal is achieved, you give yourself a little reward and it keeps you motivated. I mean, now let's face it. Don't go buying a brand new car after you after you made a blog post. That's, you may do that after you hit the 100 grand, but don't, but you know, something proportional to the reward. Let's say, let's say you, you never started a blog yet. Well, go start one. Go start one. Go sign up for my, go sign up for my host getting plan. Start a blog. Do it right now. Start a blog. Once you start it up, give yourself a little reward, you know, uh, something small like uh, Coca-Cola or something. And once you make the first uh, 100 bucks, take the family out for dinner, that kind of stuff. So these little rewards along the way keeps you motivated to keep moving forward. So uh, that's uh, my three tips on how to stay motivated. I welcome your feedback. If you have other tips and you want to share on how you stay motivated, I'd love to hear about it. But those are the three things I use that keeps me motivated. Basically, uh, I, I like what I do. That's, uh, this is my interest. This is my passion I'm passionate about. So I don't need that much motivation to do it. I have a big end goal in mind and I also break it down into what I need to do every single day to achieve this goal and 
I reward myself along the way, you know, with uh, various rewards and stuff that uh, for myself and my family. This is John Chow from JohnChow.com. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I welcome your feedback. I'll see you guys tomorrow.